Let us now look at task 6 of the to-do list. You'll see here on the left hand side we've got an issue in that the company who's supplying facilities cannot provide the full range. So essentially what they're offering is a refund of 15% for those exhibitors who have already paid and who are in the marquee or outdoors. So this is the kind of query part of the task and then you have to turn the query into a report. And something I think is quite helpful is if you look at the report and you look at what they want and the order they want it and think about when you're doing your query, think about your report as you're doing your query. So what I mean is it tells me here that you have to prepare your report showing the area. Now we know there's a query on the area because essentially it's marquee or outdoors. So the first field I would bring down for my query is area. And just to remind us if we run it, We've got marquee, we've got food hall, we've got outdoor. So there's different ways to only have those exhibitors who are in the marquee or outdoors. You could type in marquee or outdoors, or the other way you could do it is you could just type in not food hall, and that will bring up the same results. And you'll see here now we've only got marquee and outdoor. Let's go back to the design. What else are we asked for? Well, I can see that the report is asking me for the company name. Well, that's fine, so I can bring down the company name. And again, I can just run it if I want to, a quick look, just to give an idea of what's coming up there. And then we're going to go back to design view. Now, they're only going to get a refund if they've already paid. So you have to find the, the field from the table where either they've paid yes or no, they haven't. And you'll see here we've got exhibitors, we've got paid. I'll double click on that. If we run it, you'll see that uh, tick for paid and blank for not. So again, go back to design and let's type in yes. I'll just quickly check it to see now we've really narrowed this down to only a few exhibitors. And then we need to give them a 15% um, refund on the plot cost. So we need to know what the plot cost is in the first place. So the field we therefore need is, from the exhibitor's plot, is the plot cost. And again, let's run it and see what we've got. So now we've got the area, which we need for the report. We've got the company name, which we need. These are the ones who have paid, and there is the plot cost. Now from the plot cost, we are going to have to put in a, a little formula in our query to work out 15% of the plot cost. So back to view, back to design, and you'll see here we've got a many blank columns. So, so to the right of plot cost, we're going to sort of make up our own heading and we're going to call this refund. So let's just type in refund. Now when you're sort of building up your own formula, for want of a better word, square brackets are your friends here. What we do is we're going to do a colon first, then we're going to do a open square bracket and we're going to refer to the field plot cost. So let's just type in plot cost exactly how you see it in the column before. We are going to close our brackets, square brackets and we are going to multiply by 15% so we'll have to type in 0 0.1 Five. I'm going to tick the box because I do want to see what it looks like and then I'm going to run my query. And here we have now the refund has been calculated. I don't like how it's been formatted. It's missing pounds and it's missing a decimal place. We can fix that very easily by going back into design and going into our new field, our new column. Right click and then go into properties and where you've got format, if you click in the white box, it will bring up a drop down for you. Click on it, click on the currency, and then you can run it again. And now we have what we're looking for, and actually what we're looking for for the report. The report needs there to be the area, we've got it, the company name, we've got it, and we have got the refund. So we are all ready to go. What we need to do is make sure that we save the query. So let's do a file and then let's save and let's call it, I'll just call it task, task six query. So we know where it is when we, when we bring it back up, when we're doing the report. So that's how you do the first part of this task.
task. Now we need to create a report. So we go up to create and then we go to report wizard. That will give us the step by step instructions. And you'll notice here we've got tables and if I do the little drop down arrow it will also find any queries we've done. There's a query we just saved so click on it once. And now we're thinking what do we need for the report? The instructions tell us we want the area, we want the company name and we want the amount of the refund. So we only need the three fields for this report and then hit next. Next thing, how do you want to view? Is it by plots or by exhibitors? I want to choose exhibitors. I just want to have the information I've just brought across. Area, company name, refund. Click on next. Do we want any grouping? Well, yes, we do because it's asked to be sorted by area. So let's click on area and then it'll, it'll group in that way. Then we can click on next. Are we doing it in any alphabetical order? It doesn't actually tell us that, so we can leave that, but it does want a total amount refunded for each area and the overall um, total. So we need to go into summary options. Click on it once, and then it comes up to say the refund. What do you want to do with the refund? Well, actually, what I want to do is I want to sum them, I want to add them all up for the report, and I'm going to click on OK and then next, and then next again. And then we have to think about giving a title. Now you can change this at a later date, but if you remember to do it now, exhibitors is fine, but let's say exhibitors, and let's add a bit here, and let's put, oops, due, we can see that, due a uh, refund. That makes more sense. Click on finish, and let's see what it looks like. Well, doesn't look great, to be honest with you. I does have my area, and it is sorted by Marquee Outdoor and, well, Marquee and Outdoor, sorry. But I can't actually see the refund. The hashtags means it's no wide enough. And I've got this kind of quite clunky summary. Now, this is easily, easily fixed. What we have to do, I'm going to close Print View just now. And now you'll see that I'm actually in the Design View. If you were creating this form through Design View, you'd have to create it up step by step. But we've got most of it here. But the one thing that I don't like is the summary jargon. So I'm going to just take that off. But let's have a look at it again. We can just do report view. Looking better. But I can see that the refund column is too far on the right hand side. We can't actually see it. So I want to go back to my design and I want to see what I can do about that. Well, what I can see is the company name, I clicked on it, is really big. Let's just drag that back a bit. And whilst we're doing so, let's click on the RE for refund and let's drag that a back a bit up here. So let's just try and just do what we can. Let's have a little view again. Has that worked? Yes, that's much better for the refund. I can see it very, very clearly, but I can't see the total refund here. So let's go back in again, our design, and I can see again, this box here is too small. Let's stretch it back, make it, try and make it the same size as the, the refund box above. Let's have a little look. That looks much better, but I can see here the grand total is uh, still not big enough either. Back, and you'll see I'm just going back and forward from my design, and I'm just, just you know, systematically just going through everything and making it consistent and making sure that it is readable. So that looks actually just about right. The only thing I don't quite like is that it's got the word sum. We know the sum means total, but we can actually change that. The grand total is okay, but really I want to change sum and change that to total due. So back for the final time into design view, and I can see there I've got the word sum. Let me just stretch it open a little bit, and let's just call that total due. And if it's being really pernickety, I see everything is in block capitals, but grand total is not. I might even just change that and make that into grand 
total and I can see that the total due and the grand total is slightly out of line, doesn't matter really, but I suppose you could if you wanted to, you could move the total due to make it match the grand total. So as I said, we're just in our design view after the wizard and we're just having a little look of how we can tweak the report. Uh, at this point here, we could have actually changed the, the heading, the title of the report here, had we forgotten to do it. Let's just view and have a little look at that and say, well, you know, I think I've got everything here that looks. And the last thing with this task, it does ask for a suitable heading, which in fact we've dealt with already, and it's looking for a logo in the report header. So up here we need to get the, um, the logo into the report header. So to insert the logo into the report header we have to be in the design view as we are, and what we're going to do is we want to have the logo in, doesn't say exactly where, but I would put it on the, the right hand side of the report. Easiest way is to click on insert image. Now I have this in my image gallery. If you don't, just go back to the files and click on logo. Click on it and then you essentially sort of draw where you want your logo to go. And if you're happy with that, you can just do a little view. Just, um, so I beg your pardon, a view again and see has it gone in the right place. If not, you can go back to design again and then you can sort of move it around or make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever you need to do. But actually that looks not too bad. So here we have the report, we've got the title, we've got the logo, it's been sorted by area, then company name, then by refund. We have totaled the refunds for each area, we have got a grand total and we've done a bit of formatting to make sure everything looks as it should be. So that is how you do task six the database query followed by a report.